Hello everybody, this is Kanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. After pairing Sonoff Zigbee motion sensor and Sonoff Zigbee a smart switch with Evelink app using Zigbee Bridge, if you are interested in the related videos, watch them here. It's time to see how you can use them in scenes. In another words, I will show you how you can create scenes using Evelink app. So, I will create two scenes in this video. The first one is when motion is detected, a light is set to on. The other is when motion sensor stops detecting movement after a delay, the light is set to off. Before continuing the video, I thank Sepermona Var Group and Artman Company for supporting me to make this video. Stay tuned. Okay, we have Sonoff Zigbee Smart Switch. Son of Zigbee motion sensor and Zigbee bridge. Using Zigbee devices, a Zigbee hub is necessary. In this video, we use Son of Zigbee bridge. Open Evelink app. On the Evelink app, we have the light switch. I tap on it. You can set the light to on or off. We have motion sensor on the Evelink app. I tap on motion sensor. In this page, we see the log of the device. In order to create scenes at the bottom of the screen, I tap on scene, tap on add or plus. In if section, which is our trigger, I tap on add. Tap to perform. We select it when we want to run a scene manually by tapping on its icon. Time of day. If we want to have a scene based on time of a day, we choose it. Sunrise or sunset are similar to time of day, but based on sunrise or sunset of your location. In this video, we have a smart device and we want to use it as a trigger, which is our motion sensor. So I select a smart device. In this page, we have the list of our uh, smart devices. I select motion sensor. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the first scene is turning on the light if motion detects movement. So motion detected, I select it then tap on save. Then section, I tap on add. If movement is detected, I want the light to be turned on immediately. So I select a smart device, select light, choose on. You can choose off or on. In our example, on must be selected, then tap on save. Effective period at the bottom of the screen. I tap on it. In repeat section, you can choose the days you want to see to be enabled. I select, I select all days of the week. You can have the scene enabled from a time to another time. If you disable 24 hours, you can set the start time and the end time. If you enable 24 hours, the scene is active 24 hours during every day. So I tap on save. Again, in this page, I tap on save, set a name for our scene. Safe. Our scene is created. Let's create a second scene, which is if motion sensor stops detecting movement after a delay, the light is set to off. I tap on scene, tap on plus. In if section, I tap on add. Again, our trigger is a smart device. It is not time of a day. 
or we do not want to run the scene manually I select a smart device our smart device we want to use it as trigger is motion sensor this time I select no motion detected tap on save indent section I tap on add I select delay let's set 5 seconds delay to make the video short I tap on save again in then section I tap on plus select a smart device choose light I want to set it to off then tap on save after selecting off so if motion sensor stops detecting movement after five seconds the light is set to off Effective period is 24 hours every day. Tap on save, set a name for our scene. Save. Our scene is created. Both scenes are enabled, we can disable them. or enable them again let's test the scene movement is detected by motion sensor immediately light is set to on the motion sensor remains tricked for one minute after that if no movement is detected after five seconds the light is set to off That's it. Also, you can delete scenes by navigating to scenes page. Tap on each scene you want to delete at the bottom of the page. There is delete. By tapping on delete, the scene is deleted. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.